Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to go about uh, 80 kilometres east of Melbourne to the old timber town of Warburton. It's cute, it's quaint, it's quirky and there's some gorgeous nature there. We'll visit an enchanted forest. Take a stroll along the river and visit one man's unique tree house. Come on, let's go. First stop, an enchanted Californian redwood forest. The redwood forest was planted in the 1930s as a bit of an experiment. Um, since then it's grown, it's nearly 100 years old. And in the forest you can find these natural art installations made by locals. Some people call them dragon's nests.
Next stop is the old timber town of Warburton. It's about an hour east of Melbourne. It's known for its scenic trails and walks. There's not a lot of timber harvesting going on these days, but what they do harvest a lot, especially on Sundays like today, tourists. A, a lot of people come from Melbourne. It's a beautiful place to come and have a lovely drive in the country and stop at one of the many cafes back here and have some lovely food, gorgeous food, and a walk by the river. And at the heart of Warburton flows the Yarra River. This river flows all the way down into Melbourne and then out into Port Phillip Bay. Lovely little walk alongside the river in Warburton. Highly recommend it. This whole area is subtropical rainforest. So there's plenty of tree ferns, Mount Nash. And down here, ducks. That wacky little building up there, that's where we're going next. There's a story behind that one. What we see here is the life work of a local artisan called Boinga Bob. Boinga handmade all of this over the course of his lifetime. And then a couple of years ago, the local council decided he didn't really have permits for it all. And it looked like uh, Boinga was gonna have to demolish What's a beautiful, unique place. Fortunately, the local community gathered together, uh, ended up negotiating with the council, and uh, some of it's been taken away. There used to be a three-story meditation house, tree house, um, but I believe they're rebuilding and getting council approval. I mean, local volunteers are helping Boinga. He's quite an elderly man now, and probably not quite up to the task. So every week, locals come here, help Boinga Bob to uh, stabilize his place and make it this beautiful, unique 
place in the countryside. Poinger has his own philosophy called Boingology. Not quite sure what that is, but uh, I'm looking at his place. And I'm guessing there's a lot of love and peace and humanity involved in that. I think the world needs more people like Boingabob. Mm -hmm.